Welcome. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, and uh, I'm going to try to get a little bit better at um, creating some content a little more frequently. Um, one of the uh, videos I wanted to show you is um, on how to do a uh, terminal trace. Um, so this is important when troubleshooting a profile that's not working. Um, it's both helpful for me, tech support, whoever you happen to be working with um, in order to troubleshoot what is um, happening with a profile. So uh, let's just uh, go into an example of a functioning system that we have. Um, so I'm going to use my house system. And um, let's say we are working on the lighting system. So I'm just going to go right to the Lutron Caseta system and uh, highlight that right here under component status. And um, when I highlight that, it's going to give me a bunch of information here in System Monitor. Um, and it's going to say, you know, that it's being controlled via Ethernet and mess um, bytes are being sent, messages are being sent, bytes are being received, and messages are being received. Um, and then it actually is going to show us the messages that are being sent and received. So we can see um, that we are getting communication back and forth. Now, this is the last message received. So you may have had the system working at some point, but maybe now it's disconnected and not communicating. And um, what would happen is you would send a message, this won't change, but sometimes this is hard to see whether that's going to change or not. So um, the best thing to do to actually see if you're getting communication back and forth is to click this button here, Launch Terminal. And what that's going to do is that's going to start RPM Terminal, which is going to show you exactly the communication that's, that's going out to the lighting system and what's coming back. So let me just send a sample command. I'm going to turn a light on. And we can see here Savant is saying, hey, turn output number 2 to 100%. And some of these other information, some of this other information is um, fade time and other things. You don't need to know what any of this actually means. You just know I sent a command, and the lighting system responded back. Um, and and you can see the 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 kind of brownish color is the system talking back, and the black is Savant talking. And Savant is is set for this particular profile to get the information every once in a while. Hey, where? what's the light level? Um, so this is a little bit readable because there's a question mark, so it's trying to get information. Um, and it's saying, hey, what's the light level of number two? What's the light level of number eight? And um, this is us sending the command. So we can troubleshoot this saying, OK, I know that my communication is good because I'm sending a command and getting a command back. Now, for example, um, if, if I was only seeing these black lines, I would know that I'm not getting communication back from the uh, lighting control system. Uh, and that could be a couple different things. One, uh, you know, it's um, Telnet services aren't enabled. Um, for, for example, the Caseta, you have to enable uh, Telnet services. The IP address could be wrong, so that's something you're going to want to check. Make sure the IP address is, is correct. Um, and make sure that your networking and everything is, is accurate. Um, so this particular device is controlled via network. So that's where we're going to want to focus most of our um, uh, troubleshooting on. Now, say we were talking back and forth, but the lighting system wasn't actually doing what we wanted to, or maybe you were getting this, this error command um, that's, that's coming up in this terminal. The, the, it may not be something that you're able to troubleshoot, but um, someone else that, that's familiar with the profile or the hardware may be able to. And what's really important is say, you know, send a bunch of commands, get the error commands that you want, and then what you can do with this window is you can go up to File, and you can save, and
and it's going to save this into a text file. Um, so let's say so now we've saved this and I can open the text file and now we can actually email this to somebody and and say hey this isn't happening I sent um, I sent the command to turn on this light and it never happened um, and, and it's best to mark down the timestamps in these windows because that will really help to um, dictate, um, y you know, what's, what's happening. Um, so this file is super helpful in order to help troubleshoot um, the profiles as well as, you know, making sure that you're actually communicating. Um, now we can go to another s device and, and when you've opened this terminal window, you're going to need to close this by right-clicking on terminal and clicking quit. Just hitting this red um, dot will not close it properly. Um, so I want to make sure that you go and, and actually quit out of that. <clears throat> Once it's gone from the tray, we can actually go to another device. Um, so I'm going to troubleshoot the living room uh, TV. Again, clicking launch terminal. I get this terminal window. Um, a few things to note now, I'm working on an RS-232 device, and um, this block of information here is, is kind of important. It lets us verify the model number that we think we're controlling, the actual profile name and version number, how it's being controlled. So this is RS-232, port number three, and the baud rate and things. So we can verify this against the settings on the actual device on the TV. Um, now this particular device does not have um, feedback. So what's going to happen is we're going to send a command and the TV is going to turn on but we're not going to get any feedback back. Okay, I stand corrected. We are going to get feedback back but see this last message received? There's nothing in here. That's because this is considering it a message. And for Savant to consider it a message, it has to be written into the profile to know what this information that's coming back is. So um, just because I know what I've you know done is I've, I've turned on the TV so it's kind of easy you're seeing okay power on and the TV is responding back hey I'm on I've selected input 4 and the TV is responding back I'm on input 4 so even though it's not saying if there are messages coming back at, or messages coming back we can still see bytes are received so we've gotten information back and we'll be able to see what's happening in here. So again, just because the message is not being received, um, it doesn't mean you're not getting information back. And we can go through, and again, maybe the TV's not acting perfectly for us, and maybe we can't read it exactly the way it's supposed to here, or say we're sending the on command, but the TV's not actually turning on. And when we, send the off command it's not actually turning off if you gather this information and again going up to file save then you can send this to someone and it'll help to better troubleshoot this and resolve your profile issues um, now keep in mind this only works with RS-232 and IP controlled devices if it's an IR controlled device uh, all you're going to really be able to see is the IR string that's sent out. You'll never see feedback, and the IR string is completely in. Um, in t you can't read what the the IR string is, so um, there really is no benefit in in utilizing this for troubleshooting IR codes. Um, the best way to troubleshoot an IR code is um, seeing that the actual flasher is flashing when you're using a IR with feedback. Um, so 
I know this was a brief video um, just showing you how RPM terminal works. Um, one other thing uh, to note is that you can actually send commands in here. So um, if you get a little more advanced or want to try uh, a few things, maybe um, you have a profile that works for um, everything except for switching to a, a different input. Um, I, I've had that recently where the TV profile was um, perfect except for it was missing an HDMI input code. Um, and what you can do is you can kind of see how these commands are being sent. You can actually even highlight this and copy and paste. So now I'm not sending this command from Savant, I'm sending it right here from Terminal. Um, and just, just so everybody's aware, this dash H is indicating that the next two characters are hex. So this is this O2 is a, a hex character. Then this here is um, ASCII, and then this hex O3. Um, and that's that's clearly how this profile needs the um, beginning of the command is hex O2, and the end of the command is hex O3. Um, so again, just something I know from doing this a long time, I can see the pattern there. Um, and, and what's happening. So I can actually send this command to power on the TV outside of Savant and there we go. I've sent it. So because I've sent it from this window it's in blue um, and again the TV responded in the uh, brown or orangish brown color. Um, and again I can go ahead and power off the TV. and the TV shuts off. Well, I hope that video was uh, helpful to you. Go ahead and uh, comment below if you have any uh, questions and or suggestions for other videos. Also, remember to click follow to get updates on m uh, more recent videos that are being posted. And uh, if you want to see the last video that I posted, go ahead and click on that. Have a great day. Thank you.